Spring is finally here. That means swarm season is around the corner. And I wanna be ready for when those colonies start to swarm to make sure that I'm able to catch them and make more colonies at, on my bee yard here. Um, I'm sim setting up a simple uh, swarm trap, you know, bait hive, lure hive, whatever you wanna call it. It's not that hard. And I'm gonna show you the components that I'm using to make this whole swarm trap up. Stay tuned. So what's going to make this attractive to a swarm to settle into and call it its new home? Well, number one, it's the size. When a colony decides to swarm, that means that the, the mother colony is too crowded, overpopulated, so they decide to split off, take the queen with them, and find a new home. So when it comes to space, I'm giving them plenty of space. I am giving them a deep and a medium. So <laughs> When it's up in the tree, it's gonna look like this. There's gonna be a hole in the uh, top portion of the medium and the deep's not gonna have an entrance. So they're gonna have this spare cavity below um, that will almost mimic a uh, hollow tree cavity uh, that oftentimes you'll hear bees will swarm to and create new, a new home. In addition to that, this, it has the smell of an old hive. How so, you may ask? Well, it has a lot of, a uh, couple of frames of old drawn comb. This brown stuff, you know, it's old. This uh, used to be old brood comb. Um, don't throw it out. I'm gonna use this for, um, you know, swarm trapping purposes. Uh, in addition to, I have some deep frames that only have a starter strip of foundation on them. Um, from what I understand, when colonies swarm, they engorge themselves with honey. Uh, their wax glands are ready to create new comb. And by giving them uh, just a starter strip of foundation, they're gonna draw this all the way down. That's gonna be very attractive. So I have seven of these. I have three uh, drawn combs already in here. So that's gonna add to that, that smell of an old hive. I'm gonna use this old hive cover I use. These are just uh, a canvas material, but on this side here, you can see it has been completely propolized. Uh, so that's gonna to add to the bee smell and make this attractive for a new swarm. And in addition to all that, there's more. I'm gonna add some lemongrass oil. Uh, by adding lemongrass oil, apparently that also helps with the uh, smell of the hive. Um, and not to overdo it, what I'm gonna do is add a few drops to this paper, piece of paper towel and then put it into this Ziploc bag. Seal the Ziploc bag off, but not all the way so that that little opening will slowly release some of that smell gradually. And I'll only have to come here to kind of rebate it maybe once every three or four weeks. Uh, and hopefully that works out. So let's get started and let's get this thing up in this tree. Now I'm gonna secure the medium box to the actual stand itself with some screws. The idea is this will be separate from the uh, deep box I'm putting on. So when I decide to remove this, this will stay stationary here. And I'll just have to lift this box, take it off, and bring it to a new, its new home. So before I go any further with this, I want to make one point. Don't put this too high. Because if you do catch a swarm, think of how you're going to get it down. A lot of people put this in uh, you know, uh, deer stands and stuff like that. That's a little high to be climbing down with something that could weigh up to 100 pounds, 80 pounds. So not too high. Quick tip. Now, I'm just applying some of that uh, lemongrass oil. 
a bit here and in the Ziploc bag. We'll leave the Ziploc bag a little open. Cinch this all down. One of these straps. There we go. There we go. So that's it. Nothing to it but to do it. Well, hopefully this will catch us a swarm if one of my colonies decides to swarm. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and you can use some of these tips that you saw here. Um, last year, I wasn't so fortunate. I wasn't out this early setting up uh, bait hives or swarm traps and I lost a couple colonies. So this year, I hope to do it different uh, and I hope this works. And if it does work, you will be the first ones to know about it. Thanks so much. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.